So welcome back. So now we're going to just play around one more thing, and that is going to be a, a model view. So we we wanna I wanna be able to actually um, for each view I wanna be able to add more than just a basic model. So in my edit view, for instance, I have only I can only you can only always only have one uh, strongly typed model in your view. But I wanna add more to this one in the edit view. I wanna be able to actually add both the person and then some kind of um, status for the person, right? It could be, uh, is he available, is he uh, on vacation, is he single, I don't know. Some kind of status for the person. And that's going to be inside a drop down. So the goal for the next couple of videos is going to be to make what we call a view model. So a model specific for this view, where we kind of wrap in uh, two things inside a, um, a kind of a wrapper class so we can both have a person and a list of uh, statuses for the person so we can have some kind of drop down here so that's going to be the goal and the first step is for us is going to make some kind of uh, new <laughs> status type so I'm going to go into models and I'm going to create a new status type in this lesson and it's going to be very very basic all I want to do is go in here and I want to can you go away please thank you I want to go into models and then I want to add a new guy here and I want to add a, I have the person already now I want to add one called person status very very simple stuff. I'll add a new uh, class. I'll call it person status. Person status. And it's, it's going to be a very simple class. I want it to have a property of uh, the type uh, int. And that's going to be an ID. Okay, my machine is just throwing up right now. Stop throwing up. There we have the person ID. Uh, person status ID and then we're going to add another one another property and that's going to be of the type string and that's just going to be a name for that status so we're going to call that name capitalize then of course and that's not a sting even though that is a cool thing it's actually a string so now we have a person status type and um, we want to now give the person a chance of actually having uh, some kind of uh, status so we're going to give the person a new thing here and that's going to be a person status person status and that's just we're just going to call it status and now I kind of did it without the prop I just want to show you can of course also write your getting setters and your own properties here if you want to so there we go now that is also ready so now we have kind of a link between these two and now we need to uh, somehow make a list of person statuses and still st we're still using static lists sorry about that but we'll do that just for a little while longer and then we'll move to databases and we'll split our application into bits uh, so we're going to go in here and we're going to make another list like this one where we want to make just a few person statuses to pick from. So let's make a private static, read only, list of person statuses and um, that's going to be statuses, I don't know how you put that, but that's what how I put it. <laughs> that's going to be a new list. Let's uh, let it out completed for us. There we go. And inside that list, I'm going to add just a few statuses. So new person status. That's going to have an ID of one and a name of. Oh, of course, I need to do square brackets there. ID equals one. And notice that it's kind of the same like <laughs> like the guy below. Name is going to be. Um, Let's say uh, away. That's a good. That's a good name. There we go. Oh, that shouldn't be. I just went back to my beautiful JavaScript world. Sorry about that. There we go. We'll do a comma here, and we'll make a few more person statuses. There we go. So now we have some person statuses, and now let's just add a person status to each of our persons down here. So we'll do a comma, and we'll do person status. Sorry, status equals, and then we'll just uh, grab him here from the list. We know the list exists, so I can just say. What did we call the list? I can just say statuses at position zero. That's a, that's a status. Now we have that one. And the other one, he can have a status of position one. There we go. So now we have a, let's, let's add another guy because then we have all three different statuses here to play around with. So we'll just add one more here. There we go. We'll save this and now we have some data set up and we are ready to actually try to build this into our application. Um, let's uh, as the last thing let's just add so that the index page also shows the status just to kind of give you some um, 
show you some information there. So now we can actually go in here and uh, when we do the, for each loop, we can add a new field here, call it status, status, there we go. And then we can also, in our index page, we can also go in and add a new here called status, done name. Because it needs to have a name, right? That's the that's the name of the status we want to present. So let's save this and let's try and run it just to show you that now the statuses are actually added to the application. So now we have the data ready. Now all we need to do is kind of figure out a way to uh, actually present the data so we can start creating a person with status and we can edit a person with status. And there we're going to use something called view models. So now you can see here uh, in our index, our new status has shown up. But if we do edit, of course, it's not it's not there yet. You cannot cannot change the status by doing edit right now. Let me just remove the breakpoint. Um, so, so it's not there yet, right? Let's go back to person's overview, but it is here. So now we can see that at least the data is ready. So let's uh, try and make it editable. Uh, and when we add a person, we also want it to pop up. So see you next time.